Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashuruk TV. The headlines are Sudanese official brief U.S. Congress on ongoing reforms. Sadiq Al Mahdi announces the rejection of any UN resolution which permits the use of military force in Sudan. The Federal Ministry of Health announced the registration of 200 new cases of coronavirus. Welcome to the details. Senior Sudanese officials sat down with the U.S. congressional staff to apprise them of the country's situation on the economic and legal front more than a year after the regime of former president was toppled in a popular uprising. The private briefing was arranged by the Washington-based Atlantic Council and saw the attendance of the Minister of Finance, Ibrahim al-Badawi, and Minister of Justice, Nasruddin Abdelbari. The think tank said that al-Badawi discussed donor financing and Sudan's economic reform plan while Abdelbari focused on the status of judicial reform efforts to dismantle the previous regime and the negotiation of settlements with the U.S. and foreign victims of terrorism. Ministers of Finance, Economic Planning and Justice explained the situation in Sudan to members of the American Congressional Committees in a video conference session hosted by the African Center at the Atlantic Council in Washington. The ministers presented the great progress made by the transitional government since it took power in September 2019. Minister of Justice Nusruddin Abdelbari reviewed legal and human rights reform efforts to achieve peace and dismantle the defunct regime and the need to remove the name of Sudan from the list of states sponsoring terrorism. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance, Ibrahim al-Badawi, focused on economic reforms and plans, noting that the negative economic impact of Sudan's presence on the terrorist list. Leader of the Sudanese opposition National Ummah Party, Sadiq al-Mahdi, announced his rejection of any UN resolution which permits the use of military force in Sudan. Al-Mahdi said there is news about the issuance of an international resolution in Sudan under Chapter 7 after Britain and Germany submitted a resolution draft to the UN Security Council, while Russia and China support a resolution under Chapter 6 on the basis of providing political and technical consultations only. He continued the issuance of a resolution under Chapter 7 is unacceptable and we will propose a memorandum to the UN Security Council signed by all forces that make up the transitional government specifying the required role and rejecting the imposition of any international guardianship over Sudan under Chapter 7. We will contact the Security Council members' states and ask them to respond to the Sudanese request. A Sudanese commander martyred and a number of soldiers and civilians were wounded when a few militia force penetrated the Sudanese territories and attacked the agricultural projects in Barakan and the Fursan Sudanese Ethiopian border. The Sudanese military force in Barakanurain camp clashed with Ethiopian militia where a number of soldiers and civilians were wounded in the attack. Military reinforcements sent to the area repulsed the attack and chased the perpetrators beyond the joint borders. The Federal Ministry of Health announced on Thursday the registration of 200 new cases of coronavirus, including 100 deaths, as well as 161 cases of recovery. This brings the total number of confirmed cases to 4,346 cases, including 195 deaths, and the total number of people recovered reached 749 cases. On the other side, a Chinese medical delegation arrived in Khartoum to support the country's efforts to curb the outbreak of COVID-19. The delegation was received at the airport by the Federal Minister of Health, Dr. Akram Ali Tom, and the Chinese Ambassador to Khartoum. The member of the Sovereign Council, Aisha Musa, accompanied by the Foreign Minister, Asma Muhammad Abdullah, currently on a visit to North Kurdistan State, inspected on Sunday the Ubayyid National Prison and briefed on the situations of the inmates and the problems facing them. The SC member pledged to improve the environment in the prison, lauding the prison's administrations for release of inmates through the repeated calls for prevention of gatherings and crowding to curb the outbreak of COVID-19. Members of the Sovereign Council, Sadiq Taur and Raja Nicola, concluded a visit to the Blue Nile State. The delegation was seen off at the airport by the governor of the state, Yassin Ibrahim, and a number of the state's government officials. The federal delegation led by Tower held a series of meetings with the ministers of the state's government, the Security Committee and the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies. Raja Nicola during the visit inspected the Catholic Church in Damazin.
Cabinet Affairs Minister Omar Manis, accompanied by Minister of Infrastructure and Transport, concluded a four-day visit to Darfur State. He accompanied the member of the Sovereign Council, Mohammed Hassan Ataishi, who visited South and East Darfur to inspect the recent tribal clashes in the area. This SC member will continue his visit to the other localities of East Darfur. The office of the head of the Transitional Sovereign Council has described the news report carried out by the social media on the head of the Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, as unfounded. The office of the SC head said in a press release that he enjoys good health during Eid al-Fitr and he has been exchanging congratulatory cables and receiving telephone calls from presidents and heads of the states, including the joint telephone call from the U.S. Assistant Foreign Secretary for African Affairs and the U.S. Special Envoy to Sudan. He also received yesterday a phone call from the Ugandan president, Yuri Museveni, giving his condolences on the death of the advisor, Nayou Abbas Gadhaddam. Reminding headlines. Sudanese official brief U.S. Congress on ongoing reforms. Sadiq al-Mahdi announced his rejection of any U.N. resolution which permits the use of military force in Sudan. The Federal Ministry of Health announced the registration of 200 new cases of coronavirus. That was everything from Tri. Thank you for watching.